Why are cutoffs so important? Cutoffs are just as important as attacks because even if you have a good attack and a good set, if you have a bad cutoff, the performance might as well have been a really bad one because that will throw you out of the prize list. To ensure that your cutoffs are good, you can contribute to this by ensuring that your bag pipe is at optimal playing quality. Thus, by ensuring that your pipe bag is air efficient and your drone reads are taking the proper amount of air. The other thing that we want to do is have um, a method in mind to help us practice cutoffs. So I've come up with a plan to do cutoffs to, and um, what we're going to do is instead of playing a full tune, which some of you may do, I think it would be easier if we do um, just one note, preferably low A right now. For this, we'll play low A. We're going to stop blowing and we're going to see if we can get the chanter to cut off in one quick stop. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> I stopped blowing, I started squeezing the bag with my arm, and I did get it to cut off properly. But let's try to do it again and not squeeze enough and have a little bit of trailing drones. Let's see what it sounds like. So we had just enough air in the bag to get the uh, drones to keep going and the chanter didn't stop when I wanted it to. So we're going to do this one more time, squeeze the bag and stop blowing and hopefully th there will be enough air out of the bag so that the chanter and the drones do not keep going. <laughs> So what we're going to do next is we're going to play the ending phrase of a tune. Now this is to help us to go a little bit ahead of just playing one note. We play one note because when we're playing pipes, we have squeezing, we have blowing, and we have playing. There's three things that our brains need to keep in mind when we're operating this thing. So when we take out one of those and we just have blowing and squeezing, our brain can focus on the two things instead of three. So that's why we play one note and we don't have to worry so much about what's going on down here as much about what's in here and what's in here. So I had a teeny bit there, if you could hear that. I played the ending phrase of a march and I had just a teeny bit of the drone there as you could hear. So let's try it one more time and see if we can get it cut off really well. There we go. So that's the cutoff that we want. So let's add just a little bit more in. We'll play the last line of the tune and see if the same thing um, with the squeezing and the blowing can be done to ensure that the cutoff is good. When should I stop blowing and, and start squeezing the bag? This will differ from person to person because everybody has a different type of pipe and everybody has a different um, level of strength in their arm. This is going to depend on your individual abilities. So you could start at the ending, at the ending phrase of the tune, AKA two bars, or you could start um, a little bit sooner with one bar or three bars. It's up to you. I don't believe that there is a specific um, space when you should start uh, squeezing the bag. Most people will start squeezing the bag at the, in the last two bars so that there's enough time for the air to escape the bag. So let's try it again and see if we can go from the ending of the tune and do a good cutoff. <laughs> Okay, I could hear a little bit going, so let's try that one more time. Uh, 
Okay, so I got it to go there. So I want to talk to you about a couple of things before we go any farther. If you don't play cutoffs all the time and you need a little bit more time, please take as much time as you need. You will be happy with the results if you practice the proper way by ensuring that your pipe bag and your drone reads are air efficient and that you are giving yourself enough time to get the air out of the bag and not blow in. If you are playing the ending of the tune and you don't think there's enough air in the bag to finish the tune off properly, then don't be afraid to put a couple extra puffs of air into the bag. You don't need to go You can just go See how much uh, um, will it will take for the bag to expand just enough so you can still do the clean cutoff and finish the tune off properly. That will depend on you. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you think others will benefit from this video, please share it with them. I'd be very happy to see other, other people benefit from this as well. I hope that you all have a very prosperous new year. Please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.